Hi there, I'm Mrs. Jenkins, and today we're going to take a look at ratios and proportions. Let's look first of all at that first term, ratio. A ratio happens any time you're comparing two numbers. The ratio is the comparison. Now let's say you're on a sports team and you have your record of wins and losses. We'll write that as a ratio. If you have eight wins and three losses, we can write that as a ratio eight to three. This is one way of writing a ratio. Another way and a different example would be the number of males in a classroom to the number of females. Let's say that there's 15 males and there's 17 females. We can also write it like a fraction. Two different ways of writing that ratio, but we're just comparing two numbers in a different scenario. Now if we take a look at this example here, I want you to write a ratio. You're going to compare the number of meters in a decameter to the number of meters in a kilometer. Go ahead and see if you can write that ratio. And when you've gotten your answer, just click continue. In a decameter, there are 10 meters. So 10 would be our number there, and we want to compare that to the number of meters in a kilometer, which is 1,000. So whether we write it like this, or we write it like that, either way, that would be our answer. That would be the ratio that you should have gotten. Now we'll look at the second thing, and that is a proportion. Very closely related to a ratio, except it involves two ratios. It's a statement that says that two ratios are indeed equal. And you can solve a proportion by doing cross-multiplying. Let's take a look here at an example. 9 over 12 equals x over 16. Let's say your sports team again had 9 wins and 12 losses. If you kept up that same ratio, how many wins would you expect to have for 16 losses? So you can see you're keeping the ratio the same, but a different, different comparison here. Now to solve for this, we're going to multiply across. So we're going to take 9 and we're going to multiply it by 16. When we get that product, we get 144. Then we want to multiply across here. 12 times x is 12x. Now what's the value of x then? What goes in that blank? Well, you have to solve for x here. Take a minute to see if you can find out what x is. When you know the answer, just click continue. If we divide both sides by 12 here, we'll get x all by itself, and on the other side, we'll have our answer. 144 divided by 12 is 12. So the value of x in this proportion is 12. I hope that this has given you some help on understanding ratios and proportion. Do a good work on those examples, and if you need any more help in this area or with your algebra homework, sign up for Nutshell Math. I hope to see you there.